Good morning to all. Myself, Dr. J. Jaipal, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Computer Science, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Autonomous, Kadalo. The subject is Computer Architecture. The main topic is Central Processing Unit. The first topic, General Register Organization. The CPU is made up of the three major parts. They are Register Safe, Arithmetic Logic Unit, ALU, Control Unit. The register state stores intermediate data used during the execution of instructions. The arithmetic logic unit ALU performs the record micro operations for executing the instruction. The control unit supervises the transfer of information among register and instruct the ALU as to which operation to perform. So this diagram representing the register set with common ALU. A bus organization, organization for seven CPU registers. The output of each register is connected to two multiplexers to form the two buses A and B. The selection line in each multiplexer select one register or the input data for the particular bus. The A and B buses from the input buses to a common arithmetic logic unit ALU. The operation selected in the ALU determines the arithmetic or logic micro operation that is to be performed. The result of the micro operation is available for output data and also goes into the inputs of all the registers. The register that receives the information from the output bus is selected by decoder. The decoder activates one of the register loaded inputs thus providing a transfer path between the data in the output buses and the inputs of the selected destination register. For example, to perform the operation R1 is equal to R2 plus R3, the register 1, register 2 and then register 3. The control must provide binary selection variable to the following selector inputs. The first, the multiplexer A selector SLA to place the content of R2 into bus A. Second, multiplexer B selector select B, nothing but select B to place the content of R3 register into B. Third one, ALU, the arithmetic logic operation selector, there is nothing but OPR to provide the arithmetic addition A plus B. The fourth one, decoder, destination selector, it is select D, to transfer the content of the output bus into register 1. And one for micro operations, you have to write the field and the simple control word. The field is nothing but there is a select A, select B, select E and then operation, which operation we have to do. The symbol is, it is which register we are selecting, the R2, it is the select A, R3 in the select B, R1 in select D. What operation we have to do, that is a subtraction operations. Now we have to write the control word for R2 register 010, for R3 011, for R1 001. What operation we have to do means we have to write the control word 00101 for it is representing the subtraction. The encoding of the register selection is the diagram. So that is on tabular column, the binary code, it's from 0 to 7 and then select A, select B and then select D. 
the triple zero, the binary code for zero, we are representing the three bit representation. Select A, that is the input from the input. Select B from the input. It is uh, select D means that is a none. Likewise, the binary code for 1001 it is selecting A, R1, register 1, and select B, register 1, and select D, that is a register 1. So, this table is we have to select based on the micro operations. When select A or select B is triple zero, the corresponding multiplexer select the external input data. When select D is 000, no destination register is selected. But the content of the output bus are available in the external output. So next one is the table is representing the encoding of ALU operation. So the operation select the first day and then which operation we have to do we are using the sum symbol. So we are represented by the 5 bit representation for 0, the 5 zeros. Which operation we have to do means that is a transfer of A. What symbol we are using TSF A. And then increment A means we have to do the operation 0, the 4 0 1. It is represented the incremented A. The symbol is INCA. The next one is the addition operation. We have to uh, the operation selection code is 00010 means that is adding the two value. We are symbol used the add. Likewise, subtraction, decrement A and, and A and B or A and B, X or A and B, complement A, shift right A, shift left A. Okay, the next topic is stack organization. A stack is a storage device that stores information in such a manner that the item stored least in the first item retrieved. The operation of a stack can be compared to a stack of trays. The last tray placed on the top of the stack is the first to be taken off. The register that holds the address for the stack is called a stack pointer SP because its value always points at the top of item in the stack. The organization, the first topic is the register stack. The organization of a 64 word register stack, the stack pointer register SP contains in the binary number whose value is equal to the address of the word that is currently on top of the stack. The three items are placed on the stack A, comma B and C in the order. The item C is on the top of the stack. So that the content of SP, the stack pointer is now the 3. To remove the top item, the stack is popped by reading the memory word at address 3 and decrementing the content of SP, item B is now on top of the stack since SP holds address 2. The insert a new item, the stack is pushed by incrementing SP stack pointer and writing a word in the next higher location in the stack. In 64 word stack, the stack pointer contains 6 bits because 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 64. 
Uh, since the stack pointer has only the six bits, it cannot exceed the number greater than 63. The 63 you have to convert into the binary that is a six ones. When 63 is incremented by one, the result is zero. Since six one, 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 one plus one means the resultant is the one six zeros in binary. But SP cannot accommodate only the six least significant bits. The one bit register fully is set to one when the stack is full and the one bit register empty is set to one when the stack is empty of items. The DR, the data register is that holds the binary data to be written into or read out of the stack. The now that is a, we have to do the two operation one is a push another one is a pop up operation the first push operation the sp sp plus 1 it is increment stack pointer the memory address of stack pointer that is a dr dr from the data register to the memory address of stack pointer that operation is called the right item on the top of the stack if sp is equal to 0, then full is equal to assigned to 1. Check if stack is full. Empty is equal to 0, mark the stack not empty, means the stack is full. The memory write operation insert the word from dr into the top of the stack. Note that sp holds the address of the top of the stack and that memory address of stack pointer denotes the memory word specified the address presently available in stack pointer. The new item is deleted from the stack if the stack is not empty. If empty is equal to zero. Now we have to do the pop operation. The pop operation consists of the following sequence of micro operations. The data is read from memory address or stack pointer into data register. That is the explanation of the data, the read item from the top of the stack. The next sp is equal to sp minus 1 means a decrement stack pointer. The stack pointer is decremented. The next, if, is, uh, if sp is equal to 0, then empty is assigned to 1. Check if stack is empty. Now, the full is assigned to 0. That is meaning mark the stack not full. The top item is read from the stack into dr. The stack pointer is then decremented. If its value reaches 0, the stack is empty. So empty is set to 1. And then another one is a memory stack. A stack can exist as a stand alone unit or can be implemented in random access memory attached to the CPU. The implementation of the stack in the CPU is done by assigning a portion of your memory to a stack operation and using a processor register as a stack pointer. The computer memory partitioned into three segments. One is program, data and stack. The program counter PC points at, at the address of the next instruction in the program, the address register AR, points on, on the array of data, the stack pointer SP, SP points at the top of the stack. The three registers are connected to a common address bus 
and there one can provide an address for memory the program counter pc is used during the fetch phase to read an instruction ar address register is used to during the execute phase to read an operand sp is used to push or pop items into or from the stack Okay, now the SP is the initial value of SP is four thousand one, and the stack grows with decreasing addresses, like the four thousand one, four thousand, three thousand nine hundred ninety nine, three thousand nine hundred ninety eight. Likewise, it will be sent to three thousand. The first item stored in the stack is at address four thousand. The second item stored in the address of three thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine, and the last address that can be used for the stack is three thousand. So no provisions are available for stack limit checks. A new item is inserted with the push operation as follows. The SP is equal to SP minus one. The push means the previous one in uh, previous one a stack is that is a uh, we are sp plus one here sp minus one why we are uh, indicating the sp minus one means the stack pointer addresses that is a four thousand one and then four thousand and three thousand nine hundred ninety nine and three thousand nine hundred ninety eight and three thousand nine hundred ninety seven that is a likewise that is a decrementing so sp minus one push operation means that is a sp minus one and then Uh, from data register to memory address of stack pointer the stack pointer is decremented so that it points at the address of the next word the memory write operation insert the word from dr into the top of the stack and then next is the pop operation your new item is deleted with your pop operation as follows The memory address is stack pointer into DR register. Now SP is SP plus one that is incremented. When we are deleting the data from the stack, that is the stack pointer is SP plus one. How it is means that is the 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 stack pointer address is three thousand nine hundred ninety one. We are deleting the data from the stack. Now the stack pointer is A decrement at four thousand. So likewise, that is a uh, the stack pointer value is incremented. The most computers do not provide hardware to check for stack overflow or underflow. The stack limits can be checked by using two processor register, one to hold the upper limit, that is a three thousand. and the other to hold the lower limit that is a 4001 after the push operation sp is compared with the upper limit registers and after a pop operation sp is compared with the lower limit registers the two are micro operations needed for either the push or pop or an access to memory through sp and updating sp which of the two micro operation is done on the first and whether sp is updated by incrementing or decrementing depends on the organization of the stack and now we are going to see the next topics reverse polish notation the stack organization very effective for evaluating arithmetic expressions the common mathematical method of writing arithmetic expression imposes difficulties when evaluated by a computer the common arithmetic expressions are written in infix notation which each operator are written between the operands so this see the on um, arithmetic expression that is a a into b plus c into d the representation of often referred to a polish notation place the operator before the operands the postfix notation referred to 
Here reverse polish notation RPN places the operator after the operand. The following example demonstrate the three representation. One is the infix notation, prefix notation, and then postfix or reverse polish notation. The reverse polish notation in the form suitable for stack manipulation. The expression is A into B plus A into D. Now we have to return in the reverse polish notation as AB into CD into plus. And evaluation of arithmetic expression. The reverse polish notation combined with a stack arrangement of registers is the most efficient way known for evaluating arithmetic expressions. So the following a numerical example may clar uh, clarify this procedure. Consider the arithmetic expression 3 into b plus 5 into 6. In reverse polish notation we have to write it 3, 4 into 5, 6 into plus. Now consider the stack operation. The each box represents one stack operation and the arrow always points on the top of the stack. Scanning the expression from left to right, we encounter two operands. First the number 3 is pushed into the stack, then the number 4. The next symbol is in the multiplication op operator. This the multiplication of the two topmost item in the stack. The stack is then popped and the product is placed on the top of the stack. Replacing the two original operands, next we encounter the two operands 5 and 6. So they are pushed into the stack, the stack operation that result from the next multiplication. Replaces these two numbers by their product. The last operation causes an arithmetic addition of the two topmost numbers in the stack to produce the final result of 42. Okay, thank you.